I can't wait much longer. I have already peeled the corner. Um, this stuff may have actually been done by the factory. It um, It's very well done. Um, I just, like I said, I just really want to personalize this and make it exactly what we want. So, and I can't do much more with decorating the house. So, might as well move on. So, yeah, it's really, really thin, which it works, totally works. Um, but the little assembly tiles that I bought are also adhesive, of course. Pardon me while I open that up. And <laughs> I, I'm, I'm demolishing already. <laughs> no. So these are obviously much more rugged, um, which it really doesn't matter, honestly. Hopefully most of this is like foam adhesive. It's actually got some indentations and this nice clear protective cover uh, for installation. But I don't know, there you go. So really, really nice. Um, it's got a cool feel to it too. Uh, and it's actually indented where the grout lines are. Grout lines. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it, it's supposed to trim really easily. Uh, so that is my look. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to want to do something with the, uh, the countertop. It's totally fine. So why not? Um, I am considering running this up until it becomes a royal pain. Uh, so we'll, we shall see how that transpires. I don't have a set plan, uh, which is probably shocking to those of you who know me well. <laughs> I'm not. Anyways, that's next. So there you go. We shall see how it goes. tell you they're kind of a key tool in this but I'm sure you can figure it out so that's gone um and I'm gonna see how this subway tile goes in hey Rocky come here you know how you stairs come on sweet boy up Rocky come up don't try to jump it oh man Rocky come on Rocky up come on load up Oh dear. Alrighty, so the uh, factory tile adhesive backsplash has been removed and I've made my first cut on the subway tiles. Uh, simple, sorry if I made you dizzy, knife, cutting mat, straight edge. Uh, so that this one can go in the corner. And I'm gonna see how well it sticks, hopefully very. Backing is on nice and tight. <laughs> Perfect. And I would imagine that you want to be real careful not to peel the foam backing, which is what makes this thicker than the others, uh, from when you're trying to get the dang backing off. But yeah, this is fun. Um, so I'm going to play with that for a minute, not on camera, because you don't care. You can have your own struggles. Okay, so I have figured out a method of sorts. Uh, it's relatively effective. Um, this 
stuff I think is going to adhere very well <laughs> um, because it adheres very well to its backing. So I have just been working it. I found the best thing was to just very gently score the paper uh, so that I could get a clean edge on the surface and then go from there. Um, just very gently picking slowly and trying to get it, stop it, keep it, excuse me, keep it from tearing, um, which it just continues to do. So because these edges are great and all, but when you have a right angle, they, uh, the paper just wants to tear. So that's what's going on. It's super fun. I totally lucked out. <laughs> um, just put the second piece up and after the fact, after smashing it down, putting, applying firm pressure all the way uh, at all the edges, I realized, oh gosh, is there an up and a down, a top and a bottom to these tiles? And I looked at the next stack and sure enough there is. And I got lucky and put the second one up just like the first one. So let me show you what that looks like. So there's two pieces on the wall. Love it. I absolutely love it. It looks so bright and white and pretty and just, I love it. Um, so top and bottom, the top or bottom, it doesn't matter just as long as you keep track. So there is almost no grout look, uh, the gray on the one side and there is most of the grout on the other end. So just pay attention to what you're doing because that would really suck to get it on the wall and it not be correct. So loving the way that looks so far. I am super excited. Um, probably gonna go up to, I'm not sure yet. That looks like that would be super fun. So might avoid that and just stop. Um, I think the factory one, eh, it's sticky to here. So I might just do that and they had it carry over to here. And I think that then I can dodge the outlet and I only have to deal with the, uh, I forget what that's called already. Anyways, that thing right there. <laughs> Thanks. I am loving this. It is, yes, there's only one more piece up than the last time, but, uh, it just looks awesome. It is so pretty. Uh, I can't, I, I haven't had to start cutting yet and getting really fun around those round corners, but I'm pretty crafty. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I, it just looks so great when you peel that clear protective layer off the top it's just like yeah, it's just it looks so legit um i hope the adhesive withstands the heat that um we're gonna put this bad boy into in the summers but um uh, restick it you know <laughs> what are you gonna do uh i also have not told y'all i bought some trim that is I thought that I might use Art 3D. Um, I'm gonna put links to all the products that I'm using uh, in the comments so that y'all can check those out. Um, and if, if you're gonna buy them, it would be really awesome if you bought them using those links. Um, we have an Amazon kind of affiliate program, so it actually helps us out just a little bit and you do not pay any more. It is the same price. Um, but that way you can just hit the Hit the link straight from our video and be good to go. Do your shopping um, and get your very cool subway towel. Stick on backsplash. Gotta love it. So this is Buddy. He has decided that the trailer is absolutely approved. I still got the um, mattress covers for the bunks off. I ran them through the wash. So, buddy, he says it's a okay. This is really coming along. I am absolutely thrilled with how it's coming out. I just think it looks awesome. A um, few more cuts. I took the valance and the mini blinds off. I'm going to pull those brackets in a second. I'm going to take a photo of exactly how they're in so that I don't have any issue putting reversing them or anything like that uh these were super easy so because i'm impulsive and i have been waiting two weeks to pick up the trailer 
Um, I had already purchased a whole bunch of things like the tile. Um, I also bought a bunch of adhesive wallpapers. So this is in the tan family. It's a little hard to tell, but I wanted to go with more whites and grays. So I impulsively had to see how that looked on the wall and I love it. So I did that to kind of give my back a break in between bending over and cutting the tile. So I have just been using a utility knife, an X-Acto knife, straight edge, plastic one that T-square works too, whatever. Uh, so few good uses I found out for this clear top. You can mark on it for like for your cuts and stuff. Also, when you first stick the tile to the wall, you really wanna rub it and uh, apply a lot of pressure and you can't do that with the tile off very well because it has almost a stickiness to it um like a kind of like a silicone um whatever it is it gives it its shine it's it's really fantastic but it, it uh, it's not slick it looks super slick but it's not to like smear it and rub it down real good so it's great to leave that on until you've got it on the wall and then because I can't like it oops <laughs> it sticks um I'm trying to slide my hand back and forth and it doesn't go um so I'm not sure how that we'll see how that goes with um food food splatters and stuff but so far I got a little bit of sharpie on it uh for my fingers from some of my cut marks and it came right off with just a simple cleaner and a um rag so that's great but I'm gonna keep on working because I love it and I can't wait to see it done and move on to the next thing. <laughs> I am back at ya. It is a day later and I worked um, a few hours yesterday on finishing up the subway tile and um, as I was giving my back little breaks from bending over and cutting and to fulfill my impulsive desire to see more and more different things done, I added more of the faux barnwood um, harlequin pattern. No, chevron pattern of course um anyways uh the wallpaper so i've got the trim on the top of the subway tile i did a little strip of paint only to i didn't sand or anything yet i just wanted to get that on um because i was creating a little teeny tiny space that i would not be able to get a paintbrush into uh when i added the molding to the subway tile so i'm going to show you how that looks and i'm here, I'll show you this way first. So I got wrapped around the corner there with the, t the uh, wallpaper and took off the valance and the shade for the window to make that a lot easier. And I still have to go down there. I have all of this done and love, love, love it. So that is where I painted just a little bit and I also wanted to put it on here without sanding or anything just to see how it stays. Uh, I went to Lowe's and got a their $55 a gallon uh, reserve but I knew that I would not need any more than a gallon and I didn't want to get just a quart even though I probably could have but um, even without any light sanding on the wood um, I'm I can scratch that off but it's pretty good. I will give it a light sand uh, before reapplying and then when I move on to painting everywhere. But there's my little, it's just vinyl. Um, it's a type of PVC. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Uh, again, that link will be in the comments with all the other items. And there is our cool subway tile backsplash. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cool, so sleek, so much brighter. And then our fun wallpaper. So much more to come. Mm -hmm. 